And um, we had a discussion and we also decided to, to do a strong copy left because we are a non-profit organization and there's no reason why anyone should um, use it for their business and not contributing to it. Yeah. So strong copy left on everything. More questions? No? Thank you, Milenko, again. So we now move to education. We have Jose Miguel Esquerro Navarro from Universidad Politecnica de Madrid. Uh, Jose Miguel has a PhD in aerospace engineering from the UPM and is assistant professor in the department since 2016. He has been working as assistant engineer for the EXAT, EXAT um, the most educational satellite he, he will present today. And he has been also involved in uh, operation, as operations engineering in ESA fluid mechanics experiments on the ISS. So thank you. So thank you very much. Um, thanks for the opportunity to be here uh, with uh, those open minds uh, here in the, in the audience. Um, I'm here to tell you why we have uh, put some quite a effort creating this little guy I have here. There. And uh, this, everything, uh, uh, well, I will uh, go through uh, why we developed this guy, and then uh, I will tell you a bit of uh, the functionalities it has and how it's done. So, everything uh, happened uh, like uh, nine years ago, something like that. We, uh, we were a group of professors at the University, Politecnica University of Madrid, and we didn't like the way uh, space vehicles and space engineering were. Uh, been uh, pitched to the students. So we decided to put uh, like more effort in uh, uh, creating a hands-on uh, practices for our students. So uh, we encourage them from the very beginning, from the university, um, towards uh, a career in, uh, in space. Um, so we tried several, uh, well, one or two options we didn't like. So um, after some tries, uh, we were uh, group of people working at the USOC, which is a center delegated by ESA to operate uh, payloads in the ISS. So we were, uh, we have a lot of experience in operations and uh, in space systems. So uh, we decided to create one from scratch. So uh, an educational satellite, which is actually doing the same thing uh, that a real satellite will do, but in a very small factor, CubeSat uh, factor using the standards. Uh, QSET so that our students and uh, for the last two years a lot of students around the world uh, they are using it uh, just to touch and, uh, and uh, see how it relates the theoretical lesson with the practical lesson in a satellite. Um, so our objective uh, from the beginning um, is to teach system engineers from uh, ground station uh, coding as assistants, all these assistants work between them. So we created uh, one board for each assistant. Uh, um, we want also the students to understand which is a test, how to perform a test, an integrated test, and a functional test on, on every single piece of hardware of a satellite. Um, we uh, uh, invest a lot of effort to create a, a, a robust uh, ball so that if a student makes a mistakes and uh, creates a short circuit in the EPS, uh, the batteries will blow, won't blow out, uh, something like that. And then we decided, uh, this, uh, based on the experience we had previously, we decided to create the software open source so we can distribute, we, we distribute the software to the students. You can go to GitHub and uh, get the software right now. Uh, so that this is easy to program. So our students uh, are aeronautical engineers. Uh, they are not required to have uh, advanced coding uh, uh, skills like C++, but Arduino is quite easy. So we created a, a high level software in Arduino. So everyone uh, that wants just to focus on IDCS, they can just uh, work on IDCS in Arduino. Very simple uh, way to code. And uh, for IT programmers or for uh, uh, higher uh, programming uh, interest, they can go to C++ uh, in libraries behind uh, Arduino. So we try to be very flexible also when we develop the satellite. 
Um, so we have a an, an, uh, power system, uh, two simple batteries uh, in a VM board with uh, Cherry integrated. Uh, you can see the through telemetry, uh, which is the charging status of the of the batteries. Um, then we can we have two solar panels, and we have one MPPD for each solar panel. Then we have one uh, direct energy transfer system, so the student can see how uh, different. Uh, power controls uh, uh, behaves. Um, uh, some regulators, some switches, so they can uh, power up and, and down uh, lines uh, to, in order to uh, feed different payloads uh, that can be uh, uh, plugged in the in the satellite. Uh, we have an abroad computer, a very simple uh, microprocessor, MSP430 uh, in some of the boards, or STM36 on others. Um, which uh, is uh, already programmed, so uh, just out of the box, the satellite is fully functional, but the function is uh, uh, just fully functional. So the idea is for the students to go inside and create a new code so that uh, instead of sending just one packet of telemetry for an OVC, they will be sending one housekeeping and then uh, uh, one other, other packet of interest so they can uh, uh, work thoroughly in uh, how they manage telemetry or tele commands in a satellite. Um, we have an ADCS. Uh, one here on ground is quite complex to have three axis ADCS. So we have just one axis ADCS with one wheel in the middle. So uh, we can control the plus C or minus C direction. And uh, then we have two magnet torquers, uh, which uh, uh, thanks to the IMU we have uh, integrated, we can uh, read and control uh, three axes and control one axis. Um, uh, we have some sensors with a very simple coding to determine which is, where is the direction of, uh, of the sun. Uh, students uh, usually go, in, go deeper and uh, create filters uh, in order to, to increase the accuracy of the sun sensor readings. Um, one structure is basic for satellites, but this is a well, simple structure, uh, making it uh, simple to, to manufacture. Uh, to handle and also to use with a turning table, a GSC turning table, so that the satellite can be a hole in, uh, in, uh, on top of a turning table uh, so that we have uh, free movement in one axis. So uh, our students, uh, we are uh, aeronautical uh, engineers, so they usually go and uh, create new codes for attitude and control, uh, uh, for the attitude and control system. Um, Gold blind band or PID or Kalman filters, so they can go there, uh, create their code, put their code in the satellite, and try and test if the code is fine or not uh, implemented. Um, as mission control system, we are using a Cosmos software, which is uh, an open source, open source uh, software created by Volar Space, which is quite nice. So we have a lot of experience with operations in the space. With uh, the International Space Station, we operate payloads with NASA. And this software is nice. It's quite nice. It's incredible. Um, so you can check it, Cosmos from Volar Space. It's open source, and it's very nice. Uh, it, it provides uh, uh, from scratch very uh, raw plots and uh, 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 all kinds of uh, telecommands editing capabilities. And uh, then for the for the MDB, we are using XTC, which is a standard uh, use at least uh, in ESA for uh, the space station. And also Cosmos has an implementation for XTC to create the database, which is nice also for the students to see uh, this is standard and you're working with a standard database uh, or for telemetry and for telecommands. Um, so the way we are right now working with the satellite is using a wave thick uh, board we have in the OVC, which is not uh, really nice, but the communication system is coming in a few months, I hope. Uh, we are using CCSDS, so uh, uh, they will see packets in CCSDS. We are using frames used uh, by KISS. Uh, KISS is good, uh, simple, stupid, right? Um, uh, XTC standards, and uh, for those that uh, we have quite a lot of students, so we have uh, at least eight units of satellites, so we have a central server communicating with the satellites, and then uh, each client, which... Uh, um, 
this is uh, called here client, but th those were our students, so we can control for the central server, for example, for LOSs, to simulate the LOSs, loss of signal, uh, changes in the position of the satellite around the, the Earth. So we can also uh, teach them the operations and, uh, and scheduling of, of coverage from satellite to ground, which is also nice for them to see um, how it affects uh, the, the coverage uh, to the solar Earth. Um, Everything is uh, open source, ready so far, everything is open source. Uh, you can go to GitHub. I don't know if it's the best way, but uh, there was a discussion and we have a lot of software in GitHub right now. Uh, you can go there, take the software for every single piece. Uh, our intention is uh, we have a functional software, you can uh, get it, and then uh, based on that software, you can uh, create your own uh, routines, your own code. And if you want, you can share it with others. or. Uh, or with us, or uh, whatever is interesting in, uh, in working with uh, this educational satellite. Uh, we are using uh, Arduino because uh, well, we thought it was uh, uh, the good way to, to start for uh, few, well, for, for l lower uh, uh, coding uh, uh, students, and then uh, C++ under uh, for higher uh, coding students. Um, it's quite simple, so once you go to the satellite, you take it from out from the from the box and uh, you will have it running in 10, 20 minutes, depending on your uh, internet connection. Uh, so it's very easy to, to have it uh, to have it on. Um, we made the design, uh, so it's uh, usually extensible, so uh, we provide uh, in the, so we use uh, QSAR standard, so we have PC52 instead of uh, four lines. Uh, but there are quite a lot of uh, ADCS uh, buses, IT3, uh, SPI, so they are available. And the idea is, okay, so if you want to develop your own payload and go here inside, you can connect your payload, test your payload uh, with, uh, with uh, the intervention with the rest of the systems. So you can, you can go very little to it. Um, um, that's much uh, what I wanted to say. So, uh, every single subsystem can work independently, so we took uh, an effort uh, to uh, to be able to code and program and see and receive telemetry and commands for every single role in an uh, independent way. And we did the same for software. So if you are only interested in going in the, in the ODC, uh, then you can go uh, work directly with ODC and forgetting about everything uh, else on the satellite. And, uh, our potential user, which is not potential, are our students in, the, in our university, for sure. Um, space agencies, for example, ESA, the, the ESA Academy is using our satellites to teach students towards um, flyer satellite programs, for example. And uh, there are quite other, other companies uh, interested in getting courses uh, with those satellites, so that you have uh, a real uh, feedback and hands-on on a real uh, piece of hardware as a starting point uh, to develop a real uh, satellite uh, later on. Um, so this is everything I wanted to tell you. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope you will have some questions. So we have time for some questions. Uh, you mentioned that there's uh, a lot of, um, or, or at least some of the software that you used uh, was very amazing. Um, we will have these work groups later, and uh, I think this is also a good opportunity for everyone to um, give a recommendation on open source tools that they used uh, to share their experience, because they're in the different maturity levels. Some are better, some are not so good. And uh, this will be, yeah, could be a work group then later. Maybe you can tell a bit more um, still about uh, the business model of, of PS Space. Sorry, Dave? The business model. Like, where does the money come from? <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, the very first two, three years, we were just professors working at home or out of uh, our work uh, uh, hours just to develop something for our students. So 
we started using just for our students and uh, some moment, some point of time, we thought, okay, it's, uh, it's fine for us. And our student did love the satellites. Maybe someone wants to, uh, to use it. So we decided to sell this uh, piece of hardware, but uh, we are not an enterprise, so we are the university. So uh, this is a service from the UPM, which is making almost no profit. So uh, uh, the cost of the satellite is more or less the same. Uh, we uh, make our customers to pay for it, for the pieces and for the manufacturing and testing. Uh, so it's just uh, open, it's, the hardware is really it's not open source but it's just some, uh, almost uh, upper, open give you. Question. Uh, I have one question. You, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so with the experience you have gained in how many years? Four years already with the Exad? Uh, yeah. Well, with the immersion, yeah. Two okay. or three years, but uh, with the previous one, uh, another two or three. Yeah. So you teach by letting the students use it. Mm -hmm. Have you... How long will it take for a group of students to build one from, from scratch? Uh, for, uh, well, the, the one week, eight hours per, per day is the, 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 uh, the minimum quantity of time uh, to get uh, used or to touch every single piece a bit. So uh, for our students, we have almost uh, we had uh, six ECTS of uh, theoretical lessons we have produced by half. So we have half of the time uh, theoretical, half of the time uh, hands-on training, which for our students is quite nice. Okay. Uh, so okay. at the end, uh, to be able to control, uh, to, uh, we have, uh, well, part functionalities is half a year, or half a year of six ECTS per year. Um, I see many uh, CubeSats for education, and uh, I, I find that lovely. It's really cool. Uh, the thing is that uh, imagine I'm, I'm a teacher. I'm trying to 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 put my my kids to to learn more about space, and I think uh, using a spacecraft is cool. Good building a spacecraft is nice, and they will learn everything through that. Where do I go? So. Which kind of website do I go to find this? So I will search Google, but then how do I get references on all those things? Uh, I think we have like different solutions that are here. Would you, uh, do you have su such a platform where you can, you can share that? Or are you the platform for your own product? But would you share that on another platform with everybody? Um, so uh, software, it's on GitHub, so you can go there. If you are referring more in uh, presentation of the, or, or lessons to work, you know, laboratories to work with, uh, with the ASAT, uh, we do have, but those are UPM uh, copyright, so sorry, not open source. Uh, but uh, um, uh, we provide courses, so uh, we try, we have trained, uh, already we have trained uh, not just students, but teachers to work with ASAT, well, it's not required as one, but we have trained teachers to explain uh, to their students how to, uh, to integrate a system, how to test the system before. Uh, so it doesn't, it's not provided with the, 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 the lessons itself, they are not provided with the, the ASAT, uh, but we can provide uh, help with that. Okay, thank you. I think everyone needs a coffee, you know? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jose Miguel.